What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy BUGS back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and today uh, we're going to go over some heat check packs, see if they're worth popping, maybe we'll pop some, we don't know yet, maybe we'll pop like two or three, but um, I want to know if they're worth popping because i'm kind of curious before we get into the video guys make sure to drop that sub because we're going to be posting content two videos every single day also we're doing a 10k mt giveaway bro we just gotta hit 25 likes on the video somebody in the comments will win 10k mt so make sure to smash that like button as well uh let's head into it bro my uh dude thank you guys for so much for subbing bro it means a lot we've been rolling pretty well but yeah let's get into this heat check pack so as you guys can see they are expensive compared to the leagues, so let's go over the leagues. We got 6k for the leagues. They're pretty much double for 10k. Um, now, this is a guaranteed heat check. This is a increased chance of a heat check, but let's go over it. So, a guaranteed chance of a heat check. Honestly, is it worth it? Let's go over it. Let's go over the most expensive card. It is Giannis. It is 70k. And let's check out the Raptors dude, Pascal CKN that just went off tonight. So, okay. Pretty much, you want to try to pull, like, you really got to pull the best player in each set. And honestly, is it worth it? Honestly, in my opinion. Uh, hmm. Maybe we'll pop one, bro. My MT is so down. You know why? I bought a diamond coach to try to complete this damn Dirk challenge, first off. Let's just, let me just talk about this challenge. If you have not played this 19 round challenge, I almost find it impossible Dirk is so unathletic, I cannot beat the challenge. I sat here for three hours yesterday. I sound like a bot. I, he can't grab boards. He's fat and slow. Every rebound, he gets out-rebounded by everybody. I don't know what to do. I'm literally going to kill myself. I, I literally sat on this challenge for three hours, and I can't beat it. Wish me guys luck. We'll try to beat that later. But anyways, just wanted to get that out there. That, though, that challenge is impossible. But yo. So are these heat check heat check packs worth it? So honestly, to for me, um, which ones would I pull? The ten thousand five hundred one, in my opinion, is terrible. Six K one's doable. Now, if you're popping these with VC, it's not bad if you do this. But for MT, if you really want to pop packs, if you're popping the ten thousand five hundred one, you're gonna pull nothing. I've been getting these deluxe packs all year. From uh for, for getting the legendary edition for free and honestly I've got nothing but 77s out of a guaranteed heat check, so it's 10,500. You're probably gonna pull like a 4k player and take a big L. Okay, are these packs worth it? In my opinion, I think they're terrible, but moments packs could be worth it once they drop new moments. But yeah, let's go for like a lot of heat check players. Let's let's check out what the most expensive ones are. So like 11.9 for Kemba. And also, this doesn't guarantee nothing. Like, you can get absolutely nothing out of these packs. Like, there's no guarantees. Like, if you pull Heat Check Giannis, that's like so hard. So, it's pretty much like trying to pull a Pink Diamond, trying to get Giannis. That's like the way I see it. Especially the way 2K pack luck has worked. Like, it's almost impossible to get any good pulls in this game. I cannot get anything. I have my best pull this whole year. I have probably pulled like 500 packs. I've pulled James Silas or whatever. That's my best pull. He's a 90 Amethyst that goes for 4K or like 6K. Like, is that a really good pull? I spent so much money on packs, probably like 50, 50 to 60 dollars. I've got nothing, bro. I've also spent MT packs. I've got nothing. So, in my opinion, is it worth popping these packs? No. I'd rather pop these packs if they're guaranteed. Like, these packs are better for guaranteed. You have a better chance of pulling LeBron, Carl Malone, or Orlando Blackman. Like, I don't know, guys. These packs, in my opinion, are better. You have a chance of pulling three cards, and they're guaranteed. So, honestly. And you got, you can pull Steve Nash. He's a decent amount. Wow, T-Max is 77, 75. All right, I got him for 80. Pretty big L, but, bro, we got to beat this Dirk Challenge so badly. We got to do that today. But anyways, guys, so today, let's see. So heat check cards for 10,500. Should I pull one? Let me pull one of these. Let, let's try. Let's try it out. Hopefully we pull one. If we don't. All right, we pulled one. Okay. Hopefully it's Giannis. I'm just praying to the Lord it's Giannis. Is it? Oh my God, that's what I'm saying. You get Patty Mills. 
So okay, so I spent 6k. I saved 4,500 on this. I spent 6k. Let's check out his price. Personally, honestly, he probably goes for like 4k. Let's see. 4k, like I said. So pretty much any under any player under like Emerald, I would say is about 4k. Now it's a big L. I know. I'm really upset about that, but. What are we gonna do? Just trying to show you guys for the video if they're worth popping. Um, personally, if you wanna pop any packs, I don't think any packs are worth it, in my opinion. Just grind a game, like straight up. Like, if you really wanna buy MT, I really, honestly, I recommend buying MT over popping packs. I, I'm sorry, like, not because I have a DVDJ sponsorship. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I, like, I've seen so many YouTubers spend $100 and you get nothing. I don't know how what the odds are in Madden. The odds are usually like they show the odds of you ch chances of you pulling stuff. But honestly, the odds of you pulling LeBron, Orlando Blackman, and T-Mac, I honestly think to pull LeBron, you probably have like a 1, a 0.5% chance and a Orlando Blackman, a, a 1, a Tracy McGrady, a 2% chance, to be honest. Like that is accurate measures. I have pulled these packs. I spent twenty dollars on these packs. I've got nothing. I spent MT on these packs. I've got nothing. So what makes you think these packs are actually good? Any packs? Any packs in general? Like, are they worth it? Honestly, like Shake and Bake talked about it. He's not spending any more money on this game. I completely agree with him. I think the packs are absolutely terrible, and I think that if you spend your money on these packs, you're rich because. If you're a working man and you like packs, I think they're terrible, but I don't know. Um, let's check out this content too. Bill Walton, D Pink Diamond. Um, you can do this set to get 200 tokens. So now let's look Let's look over. I'm thinking about doing it. We'll see. We'll see. I'm really thinking about doing this set. Bill Walton's at about 170. He's probably even more. Let's see. How many hours they got? Three minutes left. He's about 180. Okay. So now... Are these packs worth it? So pretty much, honestly, the only thing... Th this is what's good about the packs. So first of all, they're not expensive. They're actually cheap. But since they're cheap, you really only can pull one card that's worth it. Like, JoJo White's actually pretty good. But he's really cheap. Like, he's not expensive. That's the second highest car, card in the collection. Not only that, Austin Carr's not expensive either. He's literally under 20k as a diamond. I don't know, dude. A diamond under 20k... It seems like they up the odds of him. So if you're pulling a diamond, you're probably pulling Austin Carr. And honestly, I don't know, dude. The way I've seen 2K is if you try to pull a pink diamond, it's almost impossible. I will. I don't think I'll ever pull a pink diamond. I'm not even kidding. We got this dude. These go. Every single player goes for under. Right after JoJo White, every player goes for under 18K. So is it worth it? I don't know, dude. Let's see if they have a Reeves diamond in the auction. See how much he's going for. If you pull him, I guess it's good because then you could grind him out. But he's still stupid cheap. He's, there's no diamonds on the auction. Uh, his nickname's Big Country. Yeah, he's under 20k as well. So honestly, what do you guys think? What do you guys think the best packs are pro worth popping? Honestly, I think this one because there's three good pulls. Even Carmelo's not a bad pull. And even Steve Nash is not a bad pull. So honestly, this collection right here gives you room to pull stuff. Not only that, you need to... Uh, you need to, what's it called? You need to, you need them in the collection. So you need them for the solos and all that. So it's not bad. Rolando Blackman is not in the solos, if you guys did not know. But yeah, if you could pull LeBron James out of these. Now see, why do I also say it's the best? Because first of all, if you pull LeBron, T-Mac, uh, or Rolando, you make a ton of MT, okay? That's lit. Now, if you pull this, all you need, you need to pull Bill Walton. If you don't pull Bill Walton, you take an L. In this, you need to pull Giannis. And all the other players. I don't know. Key check cards for some reason. I've been trying to sell this guy right here. I literally got him on the first day. I've been trying to sell him at 5k. I've not got undercut for literally a month. So honestly, heat check players don't really sell also. So heat check players don't really sell. I know you need it for the collection, but they don't really sell. Now these cards in general, if you could pull anyone, Rolando Black and LeBron Tracy, yo, th these cards are sellable, but honestly, it's going to be hard. But still, these are definitely the best packs to pop. Heat check packs are terrible. League packs are gone. Like they're absolutely worthless. Um, they're gonna be they're gonna drop moment packs probably today. Pascal CKM or site CKM. I don't know how to say his name. I forgot. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Honestly, if you're gonna pop packs, 
Stick to Dirk. If you don't want to pop packs and grind a game, better for you, bro. These packs are low key trash. Every single pack's low key trash. But, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.